E5 error. So that means the room temperature sensor or its cable or its connector or maybe here we have a transistor at this point. The light will blink and it will display E5. Now I am going to connect the sensor. If E6 I remove this sensor, pipe temperature sensor, it will generate E6 error. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Friends, today I will discuss AC split AC indoor control unit. It is KFR 70 GW oblique Y. So this board it does not out power for outdoor unit and the fan does not rotate and it have no display. First of all we will see its configuration then we will see its circuit and after that we will apply power and we will test it and we will check how we can troubleshoot it how we can repair it and how we can find the fault here we have power input at this point we have line and neutral so line is passed through this fuse and after fuse we have filter circuit then after filter line after fuse we have this line here and the second side if we see this neutral so it will come here here we have filter capacitor then we have inductor dual line filter after passing from filter inductor we have one line here and one line here so this line at this point is common for indoor blower fan and this is the terminal of the capacitor transformer and if you see here this line after passing through fuse this point inductor after inductor we have here trike this indoor fan unit indoor blower does not have high low medium speed relays it have just only this trike and this trike is controlled by this optocoupler and optocoupler receives a drive signal it is phase drive network it takes drive from this microcontroller power input transformer from transformer 220 volt and we will take output voltage here isolated voltage here we have bridge rectifier here four diodes then we have capacitor then we have voltage regulator here we have current transducer so it will check the amount of current then we have 5 volt regulator here we have microcontroller we have serial EEPROM we have ULS2003 ICs this is Darlington BJT arrays and we have three relays compressor heat and cool valve and outdoor fan here is buzzer here we have room temperature sensor and pipe temperature sensor this connector is for swing motors these two connectors and it is 12 volt operated and it takes drive signal through this ULS2003 Darlington array to step motor it works as a DC light load this connector we have here it is for display display IR and display lights LEDs this board have problem the first problem no power on no power in indoor unit and outdoor unit the first problem was it was not displaying something and sometime it was working sometime it was not working after that it stopped working and when the technician removed it from the indoor unit we can see this capacitor this capacitor outer body damaged first problem when we receive a board we must make a visual check visual inspection check it then if we see dike sorry trike btw12 so it have disconnection here second problem the third problem the fuse 
is burned out. I will make a block diagram for this board. Line fuse. These voltage are applied to first relay, second relay, third relay. We have three relays here. One, two, three. And the same voltage are applied to transformer, dual line filter. This line, dual line filter. And we have the same line here for fan. And the same this voltage. Here we have trike drive. For example, this RL1, RL2, RL3 or K1, K2, one relay, second relay, third relay. These are controlled by ULS2003. And here we give command from MCU, microcontroller unit, microcontroller. So microcontroller will drive these relays, K1 coil. So it when this relay will operate, this will make, and we will take this 220 volt output, K2, K3. This microcontroller, here we have NTC1, NTC2 crunch transducer we give signal to display and this transformer we have 12 volts and then we have 5 volts so it is a block diagram of this circuit complete circuit we apply voltage and this command signal will go to outdoor unit and it will drive the outdoor unit so let's check the circuit and we, I will explain step by step Friends, if you don't have a good practical experience for dealing with power electronics, never do any practice, never try to repair. First of all, I will apply power directly. And then we will check what is the problem and where is the problem and how we can solve it. In first step, you can see this wire is too much weak. We have to remove it and we will install external wire. We will install it later at the end. First I will apply external power at line and neutral. I applied power but this board has no response. In the first step set multimeter to AC voltage. Never touch any power circuit. Check AC voltage here, it is 235 volt. Input of the fuse 230. There is no output voltage at the fuse second end. So that means the fuse is open. We have no voltage. So as we know, it is for practice set multimeter to ohm continuity this fuse is open for testing purpose I will use one ampere bus fuse it is for testing and it's for safety for best troubleshooting always use series lamp because I am using series lamp but for more safety I will use I will not install a direct fuse I will use a bus fuse so bus fuse is much safer so I connected the fuse and now I will connect power I have fully lamp on why we have to see in first step I will remove this transformer Still we have issue, I removed power, now I have to check we have low input resistance, might be this capacitor.
it is short it is very low resistance it is short and now we can check now we don't have a lamp on now the lamp is good we can see it is burned out from inside very badly damaged so it caused to burn the fuse it is due to voltage fluctuation or sometime due to frequencies so it is damaged now so this was the reason if i am not using the lamp at that time this fuse should burn out but now the fuse was safe because i was using series lamp wow it is turned on i have to push the reset button so it is turned on so this was the reason and now we can check the voltage set voltmeter to ac connect at common line still we don't have voltage output because it will take some time because it have to wait for i think 3 minutes in the first step we must find this voltage at compressor pin so now this board started output voltage and we have fan we have fan voltage and we have compressor voltage for indoor fan motor we don't have voltage because our this trike one leg is broken so we have to connect it one terminal is broken now i will share the most common failures of this board first i have to turn it on now it is powered on set multimeter to ac voltage put one lead at this common pin and connect second lead at the brown lead that is for compressor and after a time delay it will mark this relay to drive this relay this microcontroller will send signal to specific pin of this ULS203 and 2003 will drive this relay and we will take the main voltage this voltage from this wire and if we change heat and cool at that time the central relay will work and the same with compressor this relay will turn on and we will uh, find voltage in the out so this microcontroller it have here three terminal crystal oscillator then here we have serial eprom it stores the user data the data we feed our selections are stored in this uh, serial eprom ac voltage are transferred to this transformer and it step down and step down voltage are received at this terminal then we have after bridge we have this capacitor and we have this 5 volt regulator and this microcontroller have its own 78L05 so we will receive 5 volt at this pin and then we have these two sensors this change their resistor internal resistance depending upon the temperature if the room temperature is at 25 degree it is 10k yes the relay is on and now we received voltage at this point and at second terminal we are finding this voltage if we cannot find this voltage the possible cause may be the relay is internally damaged its contacts are not making or might be this ULS2003 is damaged it, it is not driving this relay so we have to check ULS2003 and we have to check this and now we can check the voltage at this fan and we have 231 volt for the fan so that means the fan should run 
so our this board is now recovered we have to replace this hit the like button and now I will give the checkpoints how we can verify the function set multimeter to DC set multimeter to DC and we have with this at first point we have to check the voltage DC voltage here we have 15 volts check the right side pin and the center pin and right side pin so it is 5 volts we have 5 volt regulated 5 volts if we cannot find this voltage then we have to check this transformer these 5 volt are applied to this further regulator 5 volt regulator 7 8 L05 so it will reg regulate the voltage and it will give the voltage to this microcontroller and this 15 volt are applied to this ULS203 common pin and we have relays here the line voltage through this fuse from this line it is applied to common points of these relays so here we have common point one two three points of common common first first relay second relay third relay and this fourth relay it is not used here in this board in this configuration if this relay is on this point will make here so we will take output if this point is on this relay is on for heat and cool so we will receive voltage here for compressor we will find voltage here from here filter the direct one neutral line is connected to indoor blower fan and these voltage are applied to terminal 1 of trike terminal 2 of trike through this choke it is connected to the center pin of this connector for blower fan when it will receive a signal optocoupler signal here we have this six pin optocoupler so it will drive the gate so this ULS2003 will drive this optocoupler optocoupler will drive this trike and it will rectify the voltage it will switch the voltage not rectify it will it will make a controlled rectification or controlled switching how much the pulse is arrived at gate it will allow the voltage to pass to the blower fan and the fan speed is controlled and the voltage are applied to blower fan and this time it is displaying E3 error why because after running a specific time pipe to pipe temperature sensor does not receiving something it is not receiving any data to the pipe temperature sensor because we did not uh, connected the compressor so when the compressor is not connected that means there is something error some problem if our relay is bad this relay it will not pass the voltage to outside to outdoor unit so outdoor unit will not start so in that case it will not receive any information it will not receive any cooling data so it will make generate error to drive these stepper motors to drive these swing motors it will drive through this ULS203 these lines to drive the motor in direction forward and reverse you can test these thermal sensors as well very easily with using multimeter and ohm range set multimeter to ohm remove sensor from the cable connector we can verify if the sensor is working or no it is giving 10 kilo ohm now hold hold the sensor the resistance should change if we leave this sensor the resistance will increase it is increasing I will hold hold in fingers so its temperature will increase and resistance will decrease so the sensor is working properly it is a quick test we can also provide a specific temperature control temperature and we can monitor it check the pipe temperature sensor some boards have 15 kilo of home it is 10 kilo home. the same way hold it in fingers or we can apply some heat
خد الشيك شيك عليها ماشيين شيك عليها شو في قطع لانه هذا الكيب القديم ممكن في قطع من جوا never apply a direct heat just only give the hot environment the resistance decreased now it started to increase because now it is taking environment temperature now temperature sensor is giving good reading so that means it is good we tested both temperature sensors room temperature sensor and pipe temperature sensor so these are good and we can also verify the output of this transformer set multimeter to ac voltage connect to both outer leads connect power so it is giving 12.96 volt now when it will start working first it have to monitor the room temperature and our power on command the compressor started outdoor fan motor started and the cool and heat valve should off so now it is working so it should wait for a time until it should receive a cooling signal from this pipe temperature sensor if it will not decrease the temperature the pipe temperature will not decrease it will show error it will turn on and turn off the compressor with the change in temperature at this when the temperature will decrease so it will turn off the compressor when the temperature will increase again so that time it will turn on compressor again to cool down we have a microcontroller here what is that it is here microcontroller so microcontroller takes input from room sensor it takes input from pipe temperature sensor and it takes from current transfer current transformer that is here so it need power power supply circuit what is that it is transformer this transformer takes 220 and it gives 12 volt and here it we received 15 volt rectified 15 volt at capacitor then we have 5 volt regulator and then we have a sub, -reg sub regulator for this microcontroller we have here serial EEPROM it is bidirectional it stores data in EEPROM and receives back then we have here it is bidirectional display and remote sensor IR remote sensor this is this circuit is here here we have IR remote sensor and display and temperature indications and error codes and like that here we have driver basically this signal goes from ULS2003 IC this IC actual driver for these LEDs because this microcontroller cannot drive directly to the displays and like that so it will give drive then we have another ULS2003 all the in outputs will go to ULS2003 and this will drive relay in this relay section we have line and it will make connection with this so every relay have its own drive circuit all the lines are coming out from this microcontroller this 220 out far fan blower fan blower out here so this control rectifier trike is controlled by this circuit the same drive from here will go to swing motor so this is the total working principle of this board microcontroller will receive power on command the circuit condition stored in the EEPROM it will compare what was the last known good condition the working condition temperature setting heat and cool everything it will read from here and it will compare the inputs from here then it will sense the room temperature then it will turn on it will give a power on command to the 
compressor and blower fan cooling fan for outdoor unit these are for outdoor unit so it will drive these relays and it will pass 220 to the respective sir respective circuit then it will sense the pipe temperature if the cooling is started if the if does not receive a feedback from this temperature sensor and room temperature sensor it will generate error code and error code will displayed on the display it will start the swing it will start the fan blower and it will give a pulses to the gate of this trike to give the voltage for the fan so if it, it need a full speed it will give a long pulses to give full voltage otherwise it will decrease the voltage based on the requirement of the fan speed if the drive command is applied to move the swing motor for the changing direction of the air swing so it will drive this 12 volt motor to direct the air at different directions so here we have varistor metal oxide voltage arrestor this is damaged so we have to replace this because it is in parallel line when high voltage spike will come it will make a short circuit from this point to this point so from this point to this point it will burn out the fuse the fuse will blow out now if we find this temperature sensor bed it will give e5 e5 error so that means the room temperature sensor or its cable or its connector or maybe here we have transistor at this point this transistor this line the first left line if it is not communicating so it will generate e5 error the light will blink and it will display e5 now i am going to connect the sensor it will reset take reset it is on this is room temperature sensor error e5 if e6 i remove this sensor pipe temperature sensor it will generate e6 error at that time you have to check connector cable sensor as we as i displayed as i mentioned the test procedure for this connector so you have to test this and now i am going to connect this sensor it is reset it turned off now again turn on now i replace this fuse with 3.15 ampere i replace this mov because this MOV was burned out so the same value but the different size so I connected here it is working now so it is out